prisoner. Ah, just now. That you do not forget the Lord. So that land, what is this land he's speaking about? It's a land of rest. Finished work of Christ. We have to remember two aspects when we come to this land. Two aspects. The fact that the Lord brought us out of Egypt, the land of darkness. And the second aspect is, in this land of rest, He empowers us to shine. And that's the second aspect. So these two aspects, two miracles, one saving us and the second empowering us. That's why he uses the words in Deuteronomy 7, 9. So shall the Lord. So shall the Lord. Why does he use that? So shall the Lord do to you the same as the miracles and the signs and wonders he did when he brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of darkness. So shall the Lord. So, in other words, this morning the Lord wants us to remember two aspects. One, the fact that He brought us out of Egypt, and the second, that He empowers us. In Deuteronomy 7 9, He says, So shall the Lord thy God do unto all people of whom you are afraid. Yahweh brought us out of Egypt, the land of darkness, with his immeasurable power, by his mighty hand, and stretch out down. This morning we remember him and thank him for that. Thank you, Lord. You brought us out of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you for it. And the second aspect is, this morning the Lord is stressing on the second aspect. Deuteronomy 7, 9, I'm repeating it. So shall the Lord thy God do unto all people of whom thou art afraid. What the Lord is saying is in this new land, the land of Canaan, promised land, the land of milk and honey, the land of rest, the body of Christ, with his immeasurable power, with his mighty hand, and the stretch out down. He's fighting against all those hindrances which we are afraid of. He's brought us the second aspect. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We remember you for being us. Weaknesses, addiction, sicknesses, negativeness, anger, loneliness, despair, rage, jealousy, pain, old age, the devil attacks, past abuser and past damage. Now we forget them. He's brought us out of them. Thank you, Lord. All these gluttony, fine eating, unforgiveness, excess weight, all these things, he's brought us out. Thank you, Jesus. He's been he's rectifying it and restoring us this morning. That's what he is with an outstretched. Um, he has dealt with it and is dealing with it to do a miracle. As we go into this new year, we have to acknowledge that we are the miracle he made. That's the greatest miracle. He's brought us out of this land of Egypt. So, to use faithful words to whom for him to work on this fellow land in this year of Jubilee. Not to wait for a miracle, but to be a miracle to someone. To be the light in the darkest hour of somebody's life. To bring God's own righteousness to a universe awaiting the manifestation of sons and daughters. To be a blessing to this church and the churches around. 
to be a miracle to others. That's what he's asking us to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The unction is in action. And that's what is important. When Elijah, we sort of underestimate God. When the war was going on, Elijah, even the sun, stood still. We, he's made us the miracle, to be a miracle in this universe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. We remember you. We remember you this morning for doing this for us. And thank you at the bottom of our hearts. We'll never be the same again as we go in the land of Egypt. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Let's sing that song. As we go into this meeting, let's sing this song, Lord. That particular song. I will arise and go forth in the name of the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's stand up and sing.